What is up, you bunch of Triceratops looking mother shits? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and what the hell did I just say? I don't even know. But, anyways, today we're going to be doing an NASCAR Diecast review provided by my good friends at Circle B Diecast. Make sure to use that promo code OBBYT to get $6 off of shipping on your next purchase. And without further ado, guys, I am proud to say that I am so glad that this paint scheme. I will go ahead and say, this diecast I'm about to show you is probably the most improved paint scheme that we've ever had for 2023. And then it's on William Byron's 2023 Raptor Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 Winter Lee 4 Henry Motorsports. Wow. I can't believe this is the 2023 Raptor car compared to uh, what we saw from the 2022 car. What an upgrade, man. What an upgrade. And this is designed by the one and only Noah Sweet Lefty Designs. He just knows how to create cool looking paint schemes with the Hendrick cars. But, wow. And plus, this car might also look familiar because he did win this race at a very special track that we'll begin to in a second, guys, as we're going to start off the unboxing and official diecast review of the William Byron 2023 Raptor car. And alrighty, guys, we got this diecast album's box, and just, wow. Wow, guys. I mean, I thought I was about to be prepared to do another rant review on uh, probably the Raptor car because you want to talk about a bad paint scheme that was from last year? I mean, wow. This car... This car absolutely kicks ass, guys. <laughs> As I said in the introduction, the best and most improved paint scheme for 2023, in my opinion. They took a paint scheme that I didn't even like whatsoever, and somehow they, I mean, they might have got some inspiration uh, when William Byron wrecked the Raptor car. Uh, I forgot at what race. I think it was at Dover, probably, or somewhere. But um, as you guys know, Henrik, uh, I believe, I don't know what the story was behind it, is that they had to put white on the car, uh, since, you know, Raptor is basically an exalts the sponsors, so I guess they couldn't really get the car painted in time um, or apply the right decals or something. So, um, but a lot of people liked the white base on that Raptor car from last year, and they said, "Okay, well, we're gonna take some inspiration." That's what Noah Sweet slash Lefty uh, absolutely did. You guys see right here, great job of maximizing the space. Even though I will say that quality control with some uh, some uh, very mysterious residue. I'm hoping to God that is Valvoline oil. And uh, well, then again, I didn't want oil on my diecast, but uh, they're getting some free sponsorship in this video. <laughs> but as you guys know, this car has just blown my mind. I mean, you got like a matte finish with the black and the white, and then you got this this Raptor green, I guess. But it, it just goes so well, guys. I mean, this paint scheme actually has some yeah, character to it, guys. I, I really do like how they were able to maximize the space on this because, uh, you know, the Raptor logo is pretty tiny, and to fill in all this uh, extra space, they said, well, let's just create some swooshes and jagged lines, and it freaking works, man. It freaking works. I mean, that Goodyear logo looks like it's really about to be rubbed off. My God. <laughs> that's not a good year but god dang dude this is so cool and look that's my name if you just switch out the r and the y so <laughs> and i believe that that is some decal cracking that's right there so um i'm gonna have to get some raptor to actually fix that right on p2 so how about that but <laughs> shout out to all my willing buyer fans who are watching this video because i know there's a good amount of you guys who are watching so give you guys some love and whoa that henrickcars.com logo looks a little crooked i thought my die cast looked like it got bent I don't know, this looks like I got bent or that's just the decal and good lord. I didn't think this thing car was gonna be a checkers or records, but uh god damn Lino. <laughs> oh my god, HendrickCars.com. Wow, yeah, I really gotta put the emphasis on that with that nice bend. But typical Lino quality control guys, but uh, don't be surprised that we're probably gonna see this car in a uh doleless lifeless uh j team old probably so this is the better one to get but as you guys know william byron was able to pick up three wins already this season as i'm uploading this before the chicago race so that could change as i had to state that state that but see the nice little gunmetal rims does that look just beautiful that matte finish man can't get enough uh but william byron was able to get one of his three wins at las vegas all right for the Pennzoil 400. And I'm so glad that happened. So we will be getting a 164 race win of this as well. Because I believe it's still on pre-order. But as you guys can see man. This car man. It is just. I freaking love this man. And I don't know. I guess uh, this or probably. Th th this might have been probably one of the races. Where uh, I don't know. William Byron got some personality of him. With that freaking big hat. Fun fact. I actually had those big hats at the Indy 500. And I was thinking about getting one. For like I don't know. Like a stupid prank or something. But <laughs> no I mean. I already got a big forehead. So I'll be like a tractor up in that bitch. But. Uh, <laughs> so just getting back to this car. As you can see. I'm having too much fun in this review. But. I could go ahead and talk more about this car, but a lot of people are like, okay, why is this car a better paint scheme compared to last year? Well, I only picked up the Marksville win from last year, but this will give you emphasis of just how much better this car is. So here's the Martinsville win. 
And you guys can see the first thing that I liked that what they did, of course, the white was cool. The, the, this lime green accents I didn't mind, but it needed something else because, yeah, some people still might like this car because it has like texture to it. Um, you know, and you see the raptor uh, foot tracks or the footprints right there. Um, looks like T Rex got that bitch, or probably that one T Rex from uh, Meet the Robinsons, probably. <laughs> well, little fucker has tiny arms, but yeah, I mean, th this right here just ew. Absolutely you. <laughs> I did not like this paint scheme at all, man. This thing just, I mean, I, I think it would look better if it was a matte finish, but they somehow made it glossy, which just doesn't work compared to this. This just looks stealthy and it looks just sleek. I mean, I, I can go on. I can say as much as, as adjectives as I can because, wow, wow. And I'm glad that Justin Algar actually, uh, you know, raced a Raptor car as well. But I don't know if the Raptor car will be returning because the Exalta car has returned. And you guys know Raptor and Exalta are basically kind of like the same thing or they're like a correlation of each other. So I hope to God we can see this Raptor car again because I really, really love this, guys. And I think another thing I really do like is that they tried doing something right here with like the these lines to match it with the grill. It didn't work. They cleaned it up right here just to match it up where that front grill piece is and the bottom portion of the splitter looks so clean. It's just so clean. I mean, that, that that's probably all the thing I got to say, all right? Between this and probably the Chase Elliott Lumar window film car, I would say those, and probably the Chase Elliott, uh, what was it, uh, the Hooters Night Owl car as well. But in terms of, like, the best overall paint scheme change, this wins it by a million times, all right? I mean, I don't know. There might be people, like I said, out there who will probably like this, but just majority of the people love this paint scheme, man. I just, I think it's just the matte finish. The matte finish is just what sells it for me, man. I just love die casts that are just different. <laughs> and this is a different car, so definitely is a go out of gets, but I think the only thing that I will have to say is that, uh, Come on, let's make that Chevrolet logo gold, man. I mean, come on. I, I, they're like, it can't be hard. <laughs> Unless we get another price increase. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review. Feel free to comment below what do you have to, what do you guys have to share about this diecast right there as they are the legal uh, hood leavers. <laughs> but this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this diecast review. Really do appreciate you guys' support. And uh, until we meet again, I will catch you guys on another next-gen diecast review. And uh, yeah, let's get this T-Rex and bitch out of here.